at Savannah police work to crack down on crime. They're also working to address another issue, understaffing. Our Brooke Butler joins us now live to explain this. Brooke. Shannon, the police department is significantly understaffed right now. Uh, today, they inducted eight new officers here at the Johnny Mercer Theater behind me, but they still have 49 positions left to fill. It's definitely been a challenging time to recruit. Sherelle Brown helps recruit officers for the Savannah Police Department. We want someone mentally and physically capable of, of doing the job. Friday, she watched as eight new officers she helped recruit were inducted. Today is an exciting day for the department as we celebrate promotions and welcome new officers into the SPD family. We're told it hasn't necessarily been easy finding these new faces. It has definitely been an out of the box experience since 2020. Nowadays, fewer people want to be police officers. It's a problem that's happening not only in Savannah, but across the country. Um, we are competing with corporate America for talent. Right now, Brown says they're doing everything they can to attract people to the department. That includes advertising on social media, holding one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls with interested applicants, even going out into the community. We've actually been going out to churches and speaking to their congregation. We are recruiting in all aspects. Ernest Ferguson is one of the eight people who was inducted Friday. He says he was inspired to become an officer so he could make a difference and serve his community. Um, people were, you know, kind of looking down on police officers lately or, you know, especially last summer, it was rough. Um, I just hope to be that that example that they look to as what a police officer is supposed to be. Ferguson says as an officer, he'll be fair, balanced and ethical. That's going to change the way that people see police officers out in the community. Now the police department encourages anyone with those same values to apply. We want to make sure that their values are core and true with our values as a police agency. And Shannon, the department says that their next hiring date is in September. Well, Brooke, do we know how the understaffing at the Savannah Police Department is affecting response times or even arrests? Shannon, not at this time. I actually asked the Savannah Police Department for that information, but they said it would take some time for them to get all of that data to us. Back to you. All right, Brooke, thanks so much.